The answers to your future are hidden within the questions of today. Hi, I'm HC, and watching this video until the end will help you understand yourself deeper than you understand it now. Stay tuned. Contrary to popular belief, having an abundance mindset does not mean that your life will suddenly become easier, nor does it mean that things will magically align themselves in your favor because you feel that they should. Knowing how to develop an abundance mindset will, however, help you to have the grit and the persistence necessary to manifest and receive the things that you are calling onto your life. It will also help you to recognize when to keep pushing in the same direction and when to adapt and divert your energy. This is why knowing how to develop an abundance mindset is such an important factor on the journey of you becoming your best you. So, without further ado, here are the steps on how to develop an abundance mindset. Step 1. Choose Yourself in this context, choosing yourself means to give yourself a chance to succeed, which means to choose your growth over the many distractions available. Although in theory this sounds simple and easy, it is important to accept that easy does not mean no effort. For example, in theory, counting to 100,000 is easy. However, it requires time, energy, and effort. To choose yourself is to be conscious of the many options vying for your time and your attention, yet making the effort to gravitate towards options that have the highest potential of leading you to a better tomorrow. This means to limit the amount of attention you give to things that don't give growth back. This could mean limiting social media consumption and spending less time gaming or watching your favorite show. But this could also mean spending less time idling with people that do not have direction. Choosing yourself will help with developing an abundance mindset because it is a reminder that you are the one that is possible and your power comes from your choices. Step 2. Believe Belief is one of the most important factors to developing and maintaining an abundance mindset. In this context, to believe is to have unwavering faith in your ability to achieve your goals. Think of believing in yourself as the fuel necessary to take action and actualize what is weighing on your mind and spirit. The more you believe in yourself, the easier your decision to bet on yourself will become. And the easier that that becomes is the less that doubt and procrastination have the chance to wander in your mind. Always remember, you have to believe it is possible before it can become reality. Step 3. Calm down. In this context, to calm down means to avoid stressing about an outcome that you desire and direct that same energy towards being open to the solutions and opportunities available. We are often focused on the problems that we have, and when we overthink, we like to believe that we are spending time towards conjuring a plan to overcome the said problem. However, it is important to understand that if you focus on a problem, it will not change the nature of the problem. Simply put, Let's say you have an issue with your car and it won't start. By focusing on the problem, you are thinking of how bad your situation is and thinking about all of the consequences that having this issue will bring to your week. You are maybe even thinking ahead of the problems that aren't even there yet, such as, now how will I manage to do this or now how will I get to do that? In this scenario, 
to calm down is to 1. Look for opportunity in the given situation and 2. To focus on solutions to your predicament. By keeping a calm mind, you are allowing yourself to be open to opportunities hidden in every situation. And you will be able to accept that sometimes what you need finds you way before you can find what you want. This leads us to our next step. Step 4. Be perspicacious. Simply put, to be perspicacious is to embrace your ability to be perceptive. Always remember, the answers to your future are hidden within the questions of today. What you are looking for is usually hidden in what you have. This means to open your eyes, your heart, and your mind and become a receptor for the answers that you are looking for. This also means to be cautious of the truth that everything comes at a cost. It is asking yourself, if you are going to spend your time and energy in an area, what is it that you expect out of it? And then assessing if that cost has any real value towards your growth and your progress. Being perspicacious is accepting that a mango tree will never bear apples. Therefore, it is being conscious of what you are doing at all times and always choosing to step in the direction of abundance. Step 5. Think long term. In this context, to think long term is to first create a mental picture of what it is you are trying to achieve to the finest detail possible. It is imagining what you want, what that will look, smell, and feel like on a physical, spiritual, and emotional level. And then it is planning and taking the actions necessary for that truth to be manifested. This means to give yourself a sizable buffer of time for that change to be manifested. By doing this, you are giving yourself the opportunity to learn and grow while you are taking consistent actions towards your growth. We often think that because we are thinking abundantly, everything we want will simply appear at lightning speed as soon as we let go of what we have been holding on to. To think long term is to accept that with every step forward, you close the gap between your current situation and your desired future. Therefore, it is not to worry about the time that it will take, but rather to focus on taking the steps necessary in an efficient manner in order to achieve your goals. Thinking long term will help with abundance mindset because you are able to practice discernment and appreciate your losses so that you will be able to make the optimal decisions necessary going forward. Step 6. Cut the cord. You cannot live abundantly by holding on to perspectives that encourage scarcity. To cut the cord in this context is to let go of what was in order to embrace what is to come. It is to stop feeling guilty for standing up for yourself or for making the choice to let people or situations go. To cut the cord is to stop allowing people and situations to prodigiously leech off of your psyche, your energy, or your time. Cutting the cord is to stop allowing powers outside of you to alter your reality and slow you down. Part of developing an abundance mindset is to move forward with the faith to not look back. Think of cutting the cord like the cutting of a literal umbilical cord. Once cut, the only way to survive is to adapt to the new reality you are presented with. As scary as the cutting may have been, it is exactly what was necessary for you to become who you are destined to be. So, that's it, Howell family. Those are the six steps on how to develop an abundance mindset and to start moving forward today. 
Thank you for watching this video until the end. You are very much appreciated. Post a comment below to let people know how an abundance mindset has helped you on your journey. Like and share this video and consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't already. I'll see you here next time on How Consultations, the how-to to being true to you.